welcome to Financial Education for the Nation. My name's Warren Shute and thank you for watching. Today we're going to cover five, step five in the five step process. This is when you get to invest your money. So by this stage, you know where you're going, you're financially organized, you've covered all the bases on your financial needs that you require and you've repaid your unsecured debt. So at this stage, you be, should be sat with possibly a mortgage and wanting to further fund your retirement. And remember, with the 12.5% rule still sticks, so if you haven't watched the previous episode on debt repayment, the 12.5% is I want you to make sure you pay the first hour of every day to yourself. So the first hour of every day to yourself, um, so that's one hour out of your eight hour working day, goes towards your future. Now, when we look at your position now, if you have a mortgage and you have retirement needs, then we need to split this money together, okay? We need to split it up between the different uh, avenues. But again, this is a journey for life. This isn't a four week program that you can hold your breath and just grip determination. We need to make it into a lifestyle. So we need to now allocate the money that you have in three ways, 40, 40, 20. Now your budget should be cut back to a level that you don't have a lot of surplus in there and you're kind of just making sure that your ends are meet so you can fund for your retirement. So your 40% goes towards your mortgage repayments. You're accelerating your mortgage repayment. The other 40% is gonna to go towards your retirement planning. And I want you to use your employer sponsored workplace pension. Or if you haven't got one of those, you can visit lexo.co.uk where we have a fantastic pension and portfolios available to you to use. And then the other 20% I want you to spend back on yourself and enjoy. So split 40, 40, 20, 40% 40 of your money off your mortgage, 40% of your money into your retirement fund and 20% of your money back to yourself. Now, for some of you, if you're starting this late in the day and you haven't got that many years until you do hit retirement and for whatever reason, we might have missed funding retirement in the past, you might decide off your own back that you're going to change that 20% for your own fund money and reallocate it either towards mortgage or retirement. But don't take all of it and pay in there. Make sure you are spending it on yourself because life's a journey to be enjoyed. It's not to be saved up for retirement. So remember, you should be saving at least 12.5% of your gross income. We need to split that money 40 mortgage overpayment, 40 retirement funding, 20 fun. My name's been Warren Shute. Thank you for watching. This has been Financial Education for the Nation. Thanks for watching. I'd love you to connect to me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Twitter. I'd love to hear your comments.